text to video AI is here with Runway ML Gen 2. Let's take a look. Now to start off, you can try it for free. You're given 125 credits off the bat, but we'll get into pricing a little bit later. Once you're signed up, all you have to do is log in and you'll see quite a few services that Runway ML provides. Today, I'm just gonna focus on Gen 2, but I first wanted to show you Gen 1 and what the differences were. The biggest difference between the two, Gen 1 was more video to video and Gen 2 is text to video. With Gen 1, you can upload a file up to 15 seconds and it does come with presets as well if you look on the right here. Or you could simply put in a text prompt and it will adopt that style. For example, I uploaded this footage of April, one of the models that I work with, and I put in a simple Japanese anime style prompt and it came out with this. And it looks really cool, like even the blurriness of the depth of field it adopts. The face isn't great, but it's not bad considering it was just a simple text prompt. Now, if we go to Gen 2 here, it works the same as text to image AI. So let's say we want to do a volcanic eruption and we want to give it sort of a look. So we're going to put cinematic film style. On the bottom left here, you have some options. You have a seed number, which I suppose you can use for a series of the same type of footage. Interpolate is gonna smoothen out your frames. This isn't available for free accounts. I only have it because I subscribed. And then we're gonna upscale it just to enhance the resolution and remove the watermarks. You could upload an image to help influence the result, which I'll show you later on. And then you simply have to click on generate. It might take a minute or two to render. And currently you're only able to do four seconds at a time, which is kind of limiting, but that will improve as the technology progresses. Once it's done rendering, we can go ahead and preview the footage. Again, it's only four seconds. As you see here, it's got some lava, some smoke, not exactly an eruption, but I really like the motion and it looks pretty realistic. It's definitely not perfect, but pretty impressive by just a text prompt. Now, before I show you some more examples here, you'll see at the top left, this is how many seconds you have remaining. And it also shows your credit. So it says it uses five credits for each second. So four seconds will cost you 20 credits. Now, if you're trying this for free, you have 125 credits to play around with. On the top right, you can reveal the prompt that was used. You could even rate the result just to help out Runway ML. As mentioned before, you can also use a reference image to help with the render. So I'm gonna use this Japanese landscape picture. And in the prompt, I'm going to put Japanese temple, cherry blossom trees, flowing waterfalls, sunset cinematic film style. Let's take a look at the generated video now. And you see that we don't have the waterfalls in this example, but we have the Japanese temple, the cherry blossom trees. There is sort of some motion, but not a lot. Earlier, I did a previous render of the same prompt and I got more of the waterfalls here, even some misty smoke. This one, however, was an upscaled, so you can see that the quality isn't as great. For this scene, my prompt was ninja running anime style. And if I play it here, you see I like the style of it and the movement, but the character's not exactly running, more just floating in like slow motion. But it's obvious that the technology still needs to mature quite a bit. But considering this is sort of the first iterations of text to video, it's actually pretty impressive. I find with simple ideas, but complex execution, it still needs quite a bit of work. Like in this example, I was really just trying to get a race car <laughs> racing down the track in the rain and I was getting results like this. So you can tell the AI is kind of recognizing what it needs, but it still doesn't know how to execute it properly. This prompt was a woman walking a dog and there's no dogs here, but there's two women and it looks Okay, I mean, it's trying, but you're gonna find a lot of these type of results. I tried dogs playing with a cat and oh my goodness, these <laughs> mutated dogs, cats, I don't know what this is in the middle, what they're doing. And then we have like this dog cat-like 
animal here. I think this dog is licking the other dog, but wow. <laughs> I kind of like the quirkiness of AI sometimes. That's what makes it unique. But this is a thing of nightmares sometimes. <laughs> now, if we look at the homepage of Gen 2, you see these great examples. Obviously, they were cherry-picked, but I'd imagine it would have taken quite a few renders to find the best ones. Just like text-to-image AI, you may have to run it a few times to get exactly what you want. But I find it does better with landscapes, cityscapes, simple concepts and ideas. The last thing you want to do is load it with a bunch of prompts, and then you're really just going to get some horrific stuff. Now quickly in terms of pricing, as I said, there is a free version you can try out. You'll get 125 credits. The one I subscribed for is $12 a month US if you purchase an annual subscription. This will include all these things listed here. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out yourself. But I would say initially for the price, it's kind of pricey considering that it's still early in its stages and you'll have to run a few generations to get exactly what you want. And currently you could only run it four seconds at a time. So if you're thinking to use this as a feature film, it's not going to happen right now, but I can tell you from six months to a year from now, I'm sure it's going to be a different story and my videos in the future will be a lot more different. But man, I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm excited to play around with it even more. But that's Runway ML Gen 2. And uh, I know this was kind of a first look at it. I'm going to dive deeper into it. I only have a few credits to mess with, but I'm definitely going to do a part two very soon. As always, let me know in the comments below what you thought of Gen 2. And until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.